Hello children. How are you all doing? I hope all of you are fine. Children, today we will be talking about a story of your textbook. Yuki and the Tsunami. This is a Japanese story written by Elan and Lindy. The people of the Japanese village get ready to celebrate a good rice harvest. But Mother Nature has other plans in store for them. Main characters in the story are Yuki, a young Japanese boy, Yuki's father, Yuki's mother, and some villagers. Children, you must have heard about tsunami. Yes, it's a huge ocean wave or an earthquake under the sea that rolls onto shore and this little boy Yuki saved everyone in his village from a giant tsunami wave. Yuki, a small boy, lived with his family in the village. His grandfather had been the most respected and wealthiest resident of the village. Yuki's family cultivated the enormous fields of rice that his grandfather had passed on to them. One day, Yuki was busy with his family making preparations for a festival that was going to take place that very night to celebrate a wonderful rice crop. Yuki felt an earthquake beneath his feet. Yuki noticed something even more strange. The sea darkened all of a sudden and it seemed rushing backwards. Yuki suddenly remembered the words of his grandfather who had told the boy once that how once before in this terrible tsunami the sea suddenly rolls backward. Yuki ran to warn the people of approaching danger. Get back, get back. There is a terrible danger. But everybody laughed and no one would listen to him. Some villagers carried on collecting seashells from the sand. Yuki could think of only one thing to do. He lit a log of wood on fire and touched that log to the rice stacks. Soon the stacks burst into flames. Yuki called everyone, fire, fire. The whole village moved up the mountain now. A villager blamed Yuki of setting fire. But suddenly a white horror of sea has seen roaring over the whole village, destroying everything down the mountain. All villagers were silent in shock and watching the scattered village. Yuki apologized for burning the fields, but all villagers thanked him for saving their lives. Villagers were more happy than sorry for this loss of crops and houses. They replaced their celebration of rice harvest with the celebration of being alive. Everybody cheered with relief and admiration at the brave Yuki, who that day saved over 400 lives. So my dear children, what did we learn from the story? Yes, sometimes you must take a risk in order to do something good. Thank you.